The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody, on this Monday morning. It is Halloween, the last day of October. And first, a quick congratulations to the Chicago Cubs in an exciting win, win at Wrigley Field last night. Uh, the most exciting Game 5 any baseball fan could ever want to see. And now the series heads back to my hometown, Cleveland, Ohio, on Tuesday night up at uh, Progressive Field. But enough about baseball. Let's talk uh, Halloween today where we could see maybe a record high, maybe flirting with a record high. I covered the last record high for you back in 1984 that's a very long time ago when it got up to 90 degrees five years later uh, trick-or-treating was canceled when hurricane Juan moved straight overhead it was a wild night I covered that for you here in the river region in 89 and four years later in 1993 maybe the wildest ever 29 degrees and snow flurries on Halloween I covered that for you too uh, here on Halloween here in the River Region. Well, this week uh, we're looking at another Thursday frontal system. Third week in a row that we're getting a Thursday front. Will this one be a disappointment like the last two as far as raindrops go? The latest on that and all of your weather for the week ahead, including a big cool down coming up. Read it and weep on the numbers. Rain one of the last 43 days, 12 hundredths of an inch of uh, rain for the month of October, which ends today. That was on a Sunday, and uh, for the year now, we are eight inches below normal, and the numbers could be different at your house. Uh, could be even worse at your house. Upper flow shows the big, sprawling ridge of high pressure across the southern southern U.S. Uh, we've had three days of record highs so far. I think today will be the fourth day of record highs uh, across the south widespread records and uh, and that's not all i think we're still hot tomorrow and i think uh, records could still fall tomorrow uh, all the way from the ohio valley down to the gulf coast before that frontal system starts to interact and uh, knock the temperatures down so sunny today you know we'll be teetering close to the record we had 89 yesterday 90 is the record we could tie it uh, tonight slowed down to about 58 northeast winds at about four to eight miles per hour on tuesday sunny hot and dry uh, Tuesday's high temperature, again, uh, very close to the record. On Wednesday, you see that frontal system edging close to Chicago. That's the front. It'll have rain with it uh, up that way, but then by Thursday morning, uh, you know, still a band of showers with it. But we've seen the last two Thursdays, uh, frontal systems come in, and then they it loses the rain before it gets there. There's the GFS hopefully showing a couple of showers on the midnight on Thursday night, but I don't think so. Uh, breezy and cooler on Friday behind the front. Temperatures will be knocking down to the upper 70s by uh, Friday. So upper 80s tomorrow, mid 80s on Wednesday and Thursday, and, um, you know, rain chances under 10% probably uh, Thursday night. It's not zero. Uh, and then um, a breezy, cooler Friday, and then the weekend will be pretty nice. Now, we're looking out in the Western Caribbean. We see a flare-up of showers and thunderstorms. That's moving west towards Central America. That's not going to help us out, unfortunately. On the European out 10 days, it shows some blue bars like about, you know, 10 days out. That would be next week sometime. And so, you know, another Thursday maybe, another front, and maybe another disappointment. Who knows? We'll see. On the uh, GFS temperatures, uh, no, I, I beg your pardon, this is the European temperatures, out 15 days. We see uh, temperatures going back to the 70s for highs over the weekend and cooler nights. So a string of uh, nicer temperature days out there. As we look at the GFS temperature trend for 16 days, it shows some cooler mornings. It shows one of the coolest mornings could be Monday morning, perhaps into the 40s again. And uh, really some really nice temperatures the following week. So, uh, you know, at least we'll get rid of the record highs and that's one good step. So when you come out to the fair, be sure to stop by the Blue Water Broadcasting booth. There's Christy over there. Uh, yeah, right. And uh, maybe you'll win a prize. And plus, we'd love to talk to you. Have a great day today. There'll be a live update from the Blue Water Weather Center at 11 o'clock. That's at richthomasweathernetwork.com. Also live on the radio, 6 to 9 on uh, News Talk 93.1 on Mammoth Country. And your forecast, whatever you want it, on the 8th radio station group, which is Blue Water Broadcasting. It may be a drought and it may be hot, but it's great fair weather. I hope you have a great day today. Another video for you tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock. Have a nice day. I think I'm going to eat some food.